Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, I'm back with more DCS A10C. Today we're looking at rockets using CCIP and CCRP modes. The Hydra 70 is a 2.75 inch fin stabilized unguided rocket. It was derived from the folding fin aerial rocket developed in the late 1940s. Hydra 70 warheads are available for use against point and area targets, as well as battlefield obscuration, illumination and marking. Targets for rocket warheads include unarmored or lightly armored targets and they can also be used for suppression. To view the Digital Stores Management System or Dismas page, press OSB 14. A maximum of three LAU 1317 tube launchers can be loaded on stations 3, 4, 8 and 9, while a single launcher can be loaded on stations 2 and 10. In this example, 42 Mark 151 anti-personal fragmentation rockets are loaded in 6 LAU 131 launchers, and 14 Mark 156 white phosphorus smoke rockets are loaded in 2 LAU 131 launchers. Delivery parameters for appropriate weapon types are called profiles. Weapon profiles can be selected from the Dismas page or with the HUD as sensor of interest or SOI with DMS left or DMS right short. Profiles can also be selected with the upfront control panel or UFC select rocker. To view the profiles page, press OSB1. To select the Mark 151 rocket profile page, use OSB19 or OSB20. To make the selected profile active, press OSB17. Note that the Mark 151 rocket profile is now highlighted. To view the Mark 151 rocket profile, press OSB3. Four release types are available. Single, Pairs, Ripple Single and Ripple Pairs. Rockets with explosive warheads are usually Ripple fired, while smoke and illumination rockets are usually fired as singles. Note that rockets fired in Ripples land around the Pippa aim point. To select the release type, press OSB6. When release type is set to Ripple, the Ripple Quantity setting becomes active. Ripple Quantity sets the number of rockets to release in each Ripple. To select Ripple Quantity, enter the desired number of rockets to Ripple fire in the scratch pad. Then press OSB8. Rockets can be fired in continuously computed impact point, or CCIP, or continuously calculated release point, or CCRP modes. The release mode can be selected with OSB10. Additional setting options are available on the settings page. To view the settings page, press OSB16. The minimum altitude field is used to set the minimum range caret, or MRC. If a minimum altitude greater than zero was entered, the minimum range Q indicator appears to the right of the reticle. Minimum altitude is indicated when the Q is in the 3 o'clock position. At or above this position, the aircraft can be returned to level flight at or above the minimum altitude entered. To set MRC, enter the desired altitude in the scratch pad and press OSB 18. The height over target setting is active for illumination rockets. Height over target is the altitude in feet the flare will be at when at its mid burn point. Press OSB2 to return to the control page or, to save changes to the profile, press OSB3.
the display returns to the profiles page. CCIP delivery mode and DTS elevation data are automatically selected. Displayed to the left of the HUD are rocket time of flight, bombing mode, in this case manual release, and the active profile. The rocket CCIP reticle appears on the HUD. The pipa in the centre of the reticle is the aim point. The numeric range is displayed below the reticle. When slant range to the target is below 2 miles, the range number is removed and the analogue range bar inside the reticle starts to unwind. At the 6 o'clock position, range is 1 mile. Around 1 mile from the target, hold down the weapon release button until the rocket ripple is complete. CCIP is more accurate than CCRP delivery mode, however, using CCRP, targets can be engaged from a greater distance. CCRP can be used against heavily defended targets. The desired target must be designated as sensor point of interest, or SPI. By default, SPI is the steer point. In this example, it has been designated with the HUD target designation queue, or TDC. It can also be designated with the Tactical Awareness Display, or TAD, and a Targeting Pod, or TGP. With the HUD as SOI, slew the TDC with the slew control, and designate the desired position with Target Management Switch, or TMS, up long. The TDC will ground stabilise on that point if it can compute a position. If not, an X will be drawn over the TDC to indicate an invalid designation. If required, Recage the TDC to the Total Velocity Vector, or TVV, with China Hat Down Short. The Azimuth Steering Line, or ASL, has appeared on the hood. When this line is centred, the aircraft is lined up on the target. The Solution Queue will descend the ASL until it reaches the rocket pipa. At this point the Weapon Release button is held down to fire the rockets. Rockets can also be lofted to increase their range. To loft rockets, pitch the aircraft up until the solution queue is inside the rocket reticle and press and hold the weapon release button. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe.